Hi LMMS, it's Megan with your school news. Today is day 6, Wednesday, January 11th, and these are your student announcements. The Reading Olympics team invites any students to our next meeting tomorrow to create wall burst crafts. All materials will be provided. Come join the creative fun. The sign-up form can be found on Schoology. Anyone interested in working behind the scenes for the spring musical should fill out a form outside room 408 and return it by Friday. Anyone interested in playing in the pit orchestra for the spring musical should list their name and instrument on the sign-up sheet outside the chorus room by Friday. Students interested in joining or dropping chorus should see Mrs. McCartney in person ASAP to get a paper, add drop form, and return the form by Friday. Want to nominate a staff member for the Green Hornet Award? January nominations are due by the end of the day Tuesday. The nomination form is on our school website under Quick Links. Painting with Palmerin is full for January, but there are some spots open in February. See Mrs. Palmerin ASAP if you are interested in joining in February. Cookies and Cocoa tickets are now on sale in the PBIS Rewards store. Cost is 30 zings to join the fun. You can purchase an additional sweet treat on the PBIS Rewards Hive School store beginning Tuesday. No tickets will be sold after January 20th. Keep earning those zings and stay sharp. NJHS tutors are available for peer tutoring in the cafeteria during period 9 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you need help with an academic course, ask your homeroom teacher to come to the cafeteria. An NJHS member will be there to help you. Now on over to your world news. Hey LMS, it's Gracie with your world news for today. Recently, the lifespan of honeybees have been drastically decreasing. USDA, or the Department of Agriculture, has granted a biotech company money in order to test and create a new vaccine for bees to stop this rapid lifespan decrease. American full brood disease is the cause of the shortening of the lifespan. The full brood disease invades the hive and the equipment. This new vaccine boosts the bees' immune system to keep them healthy. Our vaccine is a breakthrough protecting honeybees and impacting food production on a global scale, said Dr. Annette Kleiser, who is the CEO of Daylin Animal Health. So I'm a mess. Do you find this interesting? That's all for your world news. Let's head on over to your weather update. Hey, I'm a mess. It's Shazzy here, back at it again, bringing you your weather. Today's high is 41 and the low is 34. Tomorrow's high is 48 with a low of 44. Did you know that January is known to be the coldest month in the Northern Hemisphere and the warmest in the Southern Hemisphere? Well, you know, that's it for me. Now let's head on over to Jassy with your sports news update for the day. Good morning, Elma Mass. It's Jossie here with your sports news for this morning. In football, Georgia wiped out TCU Monday night. The final score came to 65-7 with Stenson Bennett, Georgia's quarterback, finishing 18 of 25 for 304 yards and four touchdowns. Even Georgia's backups overmatched TCU's offense in the fourth quarter. The team is now 29-1, giving them the chance to do something that has not been done since 1936, win three consecutive titles. In this situation, the team would have to play the third season without Bennett. However, he will go down with one of the greatest legacies of all time in college football. That's it for me. Now let's head over to Zarian with your entertainment. Good morning, LMS. According to Billboard.com, here are your top 10 songs of this week. Number 10, we have Cuff It by Beyonce. Number 9 is Bad Habits by Steve Lacey. Number 8 is Die For You by The Weeknd. Number 7 is As It Was by Harry Styles. Number 6... Number six is Creepin' by Metro Boom, The Weeknd, and 21 Savage. 
Moving into your top five, we have Rich Flex by Drake and 21 Savage. Number four, we have I'm Good by David Guetta and BB Rexa. Number three, we have Kill Bill by SZA. Number two, we have Holy, Unholy by Sam Smith and Kim Petras. And your number one song for this week is Anti-Hero by Taylor Swift. That's all for your entertainment news. Now let's head on over to your daily segment. All right, I'm here with Mrs. Yencho. Mrs. Yencho, which teacher in LMS is most likely to need their morning coffee? Mrs. Stutz. Great answer. I'm here with Mrs. Stutz. Mrs. Stutz, how do you feel that Ms. Yencho said that you were the teacher most likely to need their morning coffee? I definitely need it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Mrs. Stutz, who is the most energetic teacher here at Alma Mess? Oh, I would say Mrs. Hannah is pretty energetic. Yay! Okay, Ms. Hannah. I'm here with Mrs. Hannah. Okay, Ms. Hannah, how do you feel that Mrs. Stutz said that you were the most energetic teacher in Alma Mess? Oh, that's awesome. Thanks so much, Mrs. Stutz. Appreciate that. What teacher in Alma Mess do you think has the best sense of humor? Oh, that's so hard. We have so many teachers with a good sense of humor in here. Um, mm, I'm going to say Mr. Mao. Mr. Mao. All right, thank you. All right, so I'm here with? Mr. Mao. Mr. Mao, how do you feel that Mrs. Hannah said that you were the teacher in Alma Mess with the best sense of humor? I'm honored. I mean, it's a great privilege for me. Yeah. All right, Mr. Mao, so what teacher in Alma Mess do you think would most likely be the one to lock their keys in their own car? Oh, that would have to be Miss Hodrick. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you. All right. So I'm here with Miss Hodrick. Miss Hodrick, how do you feel that Mr. Mal said that you were the most likely teacher in LMS to lock their own keys in their car? Um, my car actually doesn't lock if my keys are inside of it, so that wouldn't be an issue, Mr. Mal. Thanks, so. though. Yeah. Okay. So, Miss Hodrick, who in LMS do you think has the best sense of style? Mrs. Buck. Great answer. Okay. Thanks for watching Buzz TV. Have a nice day, LMMS.